Hey guys, today we're going to add and edit a filler text to Affinity Publisher document. I'm going to use Publisher 2, but it's a very similar process in version 1. So why do we need a filler text? You can use a filler text while you're designing your layout in Affinity Publisher. So maybe the original text, the real text is not ready yet. You don't need to stop with your design. You can use filler text temporary to plan everything and then when the real text is ready, you can replace that. Of course, you could simply copy and paste any text from the web. Not a problem. But there's a special feature in Publisher that will fill in any text frame with a text for you. So let me show you that. Before we can use the filler text, we need a text frame. So I'm going to use the tool here called Frame Text Tool. With this tool, you can draw a frame that will be filled with text. All right, here's my frame. It's totally empty. I can type or paste text inside, but I can also put a filler text. To do that, go over here to the top, search for text, and in this menu, you will see function insert filler text. Click on that, and you will notice that you got some text. You cannot read it, because it's all in Latin and that's good a thing. You cannot understand this text, so it will not distract you while designing. You will only focus on the visuals of the text, not on the meaning. All right, so that's our filler text. We can, of course, modify the font family from here. And so let me just grab, select this whole frame and then I can select a new font family. All right, we can change the size of the font so we can edit properties of this text frame, even though it's not real text inside and this fake text will show us, give us the filling and this way we can plan the layout even without the text. All right, let's draw one more frame for the text. All right, this time I will not fill this second frame with a filler text. I will select the first frame and I will create a flow. So the text from the first one will flow to the second one, just like that. So we already established this link. Later on, if you put the real text in the first frame, it will flow to the second one because it's already established. Many people complain that you cannot edit a filler text in Affinity Publisher. And that's not true. As I showed before, you can edit the style of it by editing fonts, but not, that's not what I mean. People just want to edit the actual text. They want to type something, change it a little bit to match the needs. So by default, yes, you cannot do it. The filler text is object itself that cannot be modified. But what you can do is you can select your filler text and you can go back to text menu over here and as you can see just below insert filler text there is also expand option we can expand this field and by doing that you will turn the filler text into a normal text and now i can type anything i want in whatever I want. So that's normal text now. That's not a special object. All right. So that's not a filler text anymore. We just turn the filler text into a real text. Of course, it can still be replaced later on with new text, let's say. But now we can move around the text. We can make some edits if you want to try something. And this way we can kind of experiment on the filler text without limiting ourselves only to changing the fonts and size of it. All right, so that's how you can fill any text frame with a filler text automatically in Publisher. And if you really need, you can expand that field and turn the filler text into normal text so you can do some more editing or even change part of it if you really need. All right, I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to check my other tutorials about Affinity Publisher there are a few more coming because they just released a new version of Publisher version 2. So there are a few new 
tools and powerful features I want to cover in the future tutorials. So stay tuned for that and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.